Let's finally multiply any two poly polynomials. In this example, I've got a binomial times a trinomial. It's kind of like that foiling process. We just don't have an acronym for it. Essentially, whatever's in one group, all the terms have to be multiplied by all the terms in the other group. So this 2x has to be multiplied by the 3x squared, by the 4x, and by the 7. And then that 3 has to be multiplied by the 3x squared, the 4x, and the 7. You're going to get six terms. And then you're going to have to put the like terms together to finish the process after you've distributed. So let's go ahead and take 2x times 3x squared. So the 2 times the 3 is 6. Remember, this is x to the first times x to the second gives you x to the third. 2x times 4x is 8x squared. 2x times a positive 7 is a positive 14x. Now let's go ahead and distribute this 3 times everything. So 3 times 3x squared is 9x squared. I personally like to put that right underneath the 8x squared because they're like terms and I'm going to have to combine them in a minute. Then the 3 times the 4x is 12x. I like to put it under the 14x because they're like terms and I have to add them in a minute. And finally, this positive 3 times positive 7 is a positive 21. And there is no term up here that is just a constant. And so I don't need to put it underneath anything because it's not a like term. So finally, in descending order of the exponent, I have 6x cubed. The 8 and 9 adds to be 17x squared. You're just adding those terms now. So you add their coefficients and leave the variable portion alone. 14 and 12 add to be 26x plus the 21, and you don't do anything with that. Don't try to be collecting anything. I'd like to show you that very same problem in a little bit different format. So get that copy down, pause the video maybe. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. I think I can. If I want to multiply a binomial times a trinomial, I will put the bigger, in this case the trinomial, on top and the binomial below it, and I will line up their right sides. And I will do this like a multiplication problem. Let me see if I can flip this in. Uh, you know, 476 times 23. Um, 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 7 is 21. Plus the 1 is 22. Carry the 2. You know, etc. That's how I'm going to do this problem. And so I'm going to take the 3 times the 7 and write down a positive 21. The 3 times the 4x and write down a 12x. And 3 times 3x squared is 9x squared. Up here, I would have gone, you know, put my value down here. I would have put a 0 here and 2 times 6 is 12, etc. Please, you know, I didn't do that whole problem. 2x times 7 is 14x. Not only do I locate it under its like term, but I have a 0 space here. 2x times 4x is 8x squared, and it's positive, and 2x times 3x squared is 6x cubed, and I'm ready to collect those like terms, so here I have 6x cubed, 9 and 8 is 17x squared, 12 and 14 is 26x, plus that 21. So you can multiply um, polynomials in a vertical format, much like multiplication when we learned it as a child, and now we tend to use a calculator on that, or we can distribute. Let's do one more. Okay, this one's got some different exponents. I'd like to take the binomial x plus 2, and I'd like to multiply it by x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 2. I tend to just distribute myself, although I do like that vertical format. x to the first times x to the third is x to the fourth. I'm adding my exponents. x to the first times x to the second is x to the third. There's a minus sign there. x times x 
is x squared, and x times a minus 2 is a minus 2x. So I've distributed the first term in the binomial through everything in this polynomial. Now I have to take the 2 times everything. So 2 times x cubed is a positive 2x cubed, and I'm lining it up with its like terms. 2 times a minus x squared is a minus 2x squared, and 2 times x is a positive 2x, and 2 times a minus 2 is a minus 4. I'll collect my like terms now. x to the fourth is the highest degree in the polynomial, therefore the degree of my answer will be a 4. This one's got a negative 1 plus 2 is a positive 1x cubed. 1 and a negative 2 is a negative 1x squared. Those add to be 0, and I bring down my minus 4. Here's my answer. The degree of this polynomial is 4. The degree of this term is 4, of this term is 3, of this term is 0, and of that, I'm sorry, of this term is 2, and of that term is 0. Very good. I think we'll go ahead and move on um, next to look at some division.